Hey guys, welcome back. And today I will be talking about what are the biggest challenges that your target market face. So this is in a series of about traction marketing and who are you talking to. So if you want to know how to figure out the biggest challenges that your audience is facing or your future customers, then go ahead and stick around. Hey everyone, welcome back and thank you for sticking around. And as promised, I'm gonna go over the biggest challenges that your audience is facing or your target market is facing. So one of the things you want to remember is whether it's a product, a service, a home-based business, you're self-employed, whatever niche that you're in, this format is still the same across the board, whether you're an online marketer or your offline marketer, it doesn't matter, even a traditional small business, this format still applies. Now, one of the things you have to sit down and do, and I know you've probably heard this a few times, is you know, get in the mind of your customer or your audience. Who is the target market, which you probably should have answered in a previous video that I've done, and I'm gonna link it in the description so you can find it. But anyway, you should already answer that question, but now you need to get in the mind of that person or your customer uh, and try to figure out what is the biggest struggles that they're dealing with, whether it's a product or service or opportunity. So one of the things I like to do is, you know, I have my notebook. I know y'all can see that. Wait till my camera focus. Yeah, and I have my pencil. So I like to, you know, jot down ideas that comes to me. And as you can see, this thing is pretty full. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little old fashioned to me. I can, you know, better focus with a pen and paper, pencil to an old notebook. And actually you can go and get these notebooks at uh, Dollar Tree. And I buy a whole pile of them because I use so many of them. I just, if you've seen my office, I have a box full of notebooks. But I, the thing is, I still go back through them because you never know what kind of nuggets you have in these things that I write down. I just write them down. May not mean that I'm going to use it right there at that moment, but you can go back to them and find gold nuggets in there that you can use in your business. But anyway, I like to jot down all those ideas in my notebooks, but also maybe answer some questions that my target market may have about solving their problem. Now, sometimes I have to let you know and put this disclaimer out there. When you're marketing, sometimes you have to um, engage. Well, you have to engage regardless, but most of the time, some people in your target market may not know they have a problem or an issue. So it's your job to reveal that issue, show them that you have a, a you know, that they have an issue where it was a product, service, or opportunity, and you have something that can solve that person's problem or that customer's problem. So that's one of the things you want to do is sit down and try to, you know, answer those questions that they might be having going through their mind. Or for example, what was the kind of things that was running through your mind when you first uh, started your business? That is a great way to start writing those questions down and then integrating them into your marketing or into your business model. So I hope this video gave you a great uh, leg up as far as trying to figure out how to craft your message to be more uh, direct and more specific and that resonate with the target market that you're or in the niche that you're in. And like I said, go get your notebook or maybe you don't need a notebook. Maybe you you know, have a tablet that you like to, you know, do the notes on, but come up with some, uh, you know, problems and solutions. You know, you have two columns, problems and solutions, you know, based on your business niche and, you know, write down all the problems that your customers face or the people based on your business model or the niche you're in and what is your solution. But you don't want to sound like, um, you want to put it in a way of benefits. What does your product solve? What problem that your product or service or opportunity helps solve? And you want to list it that way so it doesn't sound like you're just trying to sell them. So that's something that you definitely want to do. Get good at 
and like I said, I was gonna, I did a video about your tar uh, target market and who do you serve? So you need to answer those questions. And like I said, I have a video series and I'm gonna link them down in the description below as well. So if you wanna go back and watch some of those previous videos or some of the subjects that I talk about branding and attracting those people to you, then I will go ahead and put that below. But if you have any questions, I would love to see them in the comments below this video. And if it's something that uh, you may need some more clarity on, I'll you know do another video to answer that question to go into more detail about it. But you let me know if you found this video helpful. Go ahead and hit that like button as well. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and subscribe. But anyway. Happy New Year, everybody, and it is 2017, so I want everybody, I wish everybody, you know, an amazing year for 2017 and to crush it. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.